would you not vote for Richard Hawke over Donald Trump? Regard, even though he committed a massive coup d'etat. You know, you're right. And you know what? I'm leaving that part in. <laughs> 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 you did it again, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Federation vs. Zeon. I'm Michael Wilson. <laughs> I mean... It's been a week of real bad news. Uh, I think we can. I think obviously the thing that I find most disgusting is that Ridley Scott has announced he's going to come back. He has announced that he has uh, a lot of interest in coming back to do another Alien prequel. And I mean, uh, that's just horrible, man. It's what? not right. Like, haven't we suffered enough? Apparently not. God, you've never seen the fucking alien. I mean, I guess, oh my I God. guess you've seen Prometheus, I forgot. Right? I forgot that we fucking brought out the Zagok and the Zok for Operation Odessa. Oh, yeah. So yeah. There's, there's, there's another fight in Operation Odessa, and right away it's over them, and because their health is so low from it, it just has a big not available sign on them. <laughs> just even the game's like, no. I like to imagine, like, like General Revel, like, just, like, walked over to the hangar and was like, excuse me, are, are, is this the team that brought the Zok and the Zagok in the middle of the the desert? Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> Not again! Bring out anything else! Man. <laughs> Let's ruin all our fun. Bastard. Fuck you, Rebel. Yeah. Alright, what should I bring out, though? Uh, you know what? I'll bring uh, out the gun cannon. Gun cannon. Someone fun. had to. Anyway, so Ridley Scott's threatening to come back, you say? Yeah, yeah. I forget oh. which of the prequels have you seen. Uh, I guess honestly, you've seen Prometheus. Uh, I've seen Prometheus. I think that's the only one I've seen because I've seen uh, Aliens one, two, and three. I'm just saying it like that because it's easier than me going Alien, Aliens, and it's just easier. You've to seen see. the quote unquote good ones. I see. I saw Prometheus. I didn't see the other one because you said it was bad. It's the worst. Oh my god. I mean, when Michael Fassbender literally says to himself, I'll do the fingering. Oh, sorry. You blow, I'll do the fingering. And it's like, come the fuck on. Ugh. It's just... It's so... Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe coming up. Well, I, I'll describe Prometheus as this hodgepodge of half-formed ideas that if you'd have focused on one, might have made an interesting uh, generic sci-fi movie but because you like because Ridley Scott had to have literally all of the cake and then still try and eat the goddamn thing and then still have another cake. It's like oh yeah yeah we got the well, so much we cake got, will give you diabetes. We got the black uh, we got the black goo. What does it do? Everything. And then we have Shaw, who's got a whole religious thing, and also she gives birth to a squid baby. Why? And then you have the fucking space jockeys. Turns out they're just asshole. They're just dumbasses in suits. Okay. Well, what do they do? Well, they made humanity. Why? I don't know. But they want to kill us. Why? I don't know. Fuck you. We didn't think that far. Stop asking yeah. us questions. If you ever listened to Ripley Scott in an interview, I don't think he thinks. I think he actually does have dementia. It's kind of possible. Entirely possible. Not even point, funny. Yeah. So. And then Alien Covenant's just this... Oh, it's everything. It's the worst. You know what's fun like, about taking on a mobile armor that doesn't move? Is getting the, uh, the enemy Zakus that are trying to defend it to accidentally shoot it repeatedly. Yeah, it does sound fun. Alright, I did sort of try to watch... I did start watching uh, Build Fighter... Build Diver, sorry. Uh, oh. it, I didn't finish the first episode yet. Oh, actually, real quick, because uh, yours will be a little bit longer. Uh, I did finally sit down and finish watching Zoid Zero Century, or New Century, depending on which they want to call it today. And uh, the final fight is actually really fucking good. I mean, mine's not going to be longer than mine's. Yeah, I got about, like, 15 minutes, and then I got distracted, and I just haven't had the energy to go back to it, because it's like... Oh. Man, it's, like, adamant to, like, not make anything about its premise seem interesting at all kind of impressive really how much it doesn't want me to care how much it doesn't want me to care no it doesn't get interesting until the second season where all of a sudden it throws you a curveball yeah know, gotta you gotta get, get, get to that point first yeah 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 but uh, but yeah uh annoyingly i wanted to play shantae which 
Uh, it came out for you guys like a week ago, but it only came out today. But I haven't, yeah, I, no, I haven't picked that up yet. Wait, what happened? Sorry. Oh, it only came out today over here for some reason. So I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Ah, so I got it downloaded. So I'll hopefully play it after this. Yeah, I do want to get that. I just haven't uh, picked it up yet. It came out, um, yeah, it was like last week, and I think I, what was I doing last week? There's a reason I didn't pick it up yet. I'm going to get it at some point. But I also have, like, a, like, a lot of, like, bigger games in the pipe work. So yeah, no, I get you. So that's also an issue. I'm kind of between games, because I haven't decided if I'm going to commit to Xenoblade Chronicles yet or not. Ah, Xenoblade, my favorite series where I'm like, ooh, let me try this out, and then I just get bored. Yeah, that's kind of been my issue. I, 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 I honestly, like, because, like, I, I, I got two, for example, and uh, the same thing happened with it as with one, where I was like, oh, cool, this is interesting, and then I just don't like the battle system, and there's nothing really wrong yeah. with the story. I just get bored with it. No, yeah, for me, it's also the battle system. I just... It's the it's being in that weird half and half where it's not quite turn based, but it's also not quite like action RPG. And because of the way the menus work, it just doesn't feel good. Like yeah. I, I I can't explain it, but it like the, the it's similar to the combat of um, FF. Uh, what was it? It's like oh, I was getting eleven and twelve mixed up, but you know which one I'm talking about. Twelve. It's very similar to that, but for some reason I found twelve more engaging than Zeno. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I get that. Like. <sighs> It's kind of, it, I don't know, it's, I, I completely agree, and I've been, I, I had that exact problem with it too, where it's like, I can't, I want to give this game more of a shot, because I do like most of the characters who aren't the main two. That's the other thing, Xeno games have an issue of making the main, like, two, two characters just fucking meh. Yeah, it's just incredibly dull. I honestly, I'm going to be sound like a giant asshole saying this, I don't get the appeal of what? Of the Xenoblade 2 characters, because I, I... No, 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 I just mean the Xenoblade games. Yeah. I mean, the characters, I mean, yeah, Pyra and Mithra, it's for their boobs. Like, come on, it's it's their boobs. It's the boobs. I'm not that stupid. I'm stupid, but I ain't that stupid. It's boobs. Oh! I get to fight the Black Tri-Stars. Oh, those idiots. Wait, Did why is my Gundam at... Why is the Gundam I just pulled out, like, at half health, even though it took no damage? That's dumb. Whatever, fine. I'll use the ground Gundam. Fuck you. You just step on me. Let's really confuse him. Let's get the white demon. Wait, there's two of them. Wait, which one's the white demon? Uh, they look the same. Except that one's got like a chest gun on it. Oh, there goes the Medea Supply Corps. Goodbye. God, you're, God, you're so fucking lucky. When you said white demon. <laughs> you know what I was just suddenly thinking of. <laughs> white Devil, White Devil from Ace and Tora? No. I was just thinking of a white police officer. You're right. <laughs> You're right, though. I am. However, I think well, the Xeon would be the ones going, No, save that one! He's the, I mean, he's the, he, that's our white demon! I was, gonna, I was gonna say, the Zeons, uh, I mean, when one of their leading figures is literally compared to Hitler by his own dad. And, and he thinks it's cool. And he's like, I don't know who this Hitler guy is, but he sounds rad. Oh, I killed Gaia that, already. I, now I play as Ortega and Mash. Oh, that, Amro got Mash, and now I'm gonna get the other one. Ah, oh, damn it, he kill stole. I knocked him I'm down. Like... He sh Basically, what happened to Mash was I slashed the shit out of him, knocked him to the ground. As he was falling, Amuro just shot him in the head. <laughs> and that's how the Black Tri-Stars died. A Gundam and a ground Gundam showed up and just kicked them around for a little bit. Yeah, it'll sound more or less how it should go, though. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I was just laughing over that fucking murder. Oh, I remember what I was saying now. And we were talking about how the Zeon are just Nazis, because that's what they are. Oh, like. yeah. I mean, it's not, uh, literally just Nazis. I'm pretty sure Terminator is even like, yeah, I'm just going to make Nazis. 
Like, it's like Star Wars is like, okay, let's... Let, we're gonna use some, like, you know, imagery, you know, to invoke the whole Nazi thing, and then Tomino is like, just slaps well, the... Well, also, they're literally called fucking Stormtroopers. We'll call them Stormtroopers. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that, we'll copy the uniforms for the for the guys, yeah, yeah, that's about as far as we'll go. And then fucking Tomino whips around, throwing up the Zeon flag, and goes, sup, bitch, they're also gonna mention the Hitler. <laughs> well, it's also, it's also like in Starship Troopers, the movie, where you get to the end of the movie and Neil Patrick Harris is literally just dressed like an SS officer. Yeah. It's a fright! Oh no, this is even more, uh, less subtle, where it's just like, Hey, you remind me of Hitler! Man. Also, yeah, our a... Zaku's look like, look, look like German, or look like German military units. And you know, it's kind of, I think it's kind of depressing that uh, people didn't quite re it took people disturbing the uh, large rat time to realize that Starship Troopers is a goddamn parody. It happens. I mean, service does guarantee citizenship. Oh, hi, Goof. Where is this fucking money, man? Where's my- Oh, you shot me. But yeah. Unfortunately, you're not the Goof Custom, you can't beat me. Kind of one of those unfortunate weeks where the news is pretty You know, it's actually so. a shame, too. This game in uh, uh, Zeon versus Gun uh, uh, Z Zeta Gundam versus Gundam d both do not have the Goof Custom or the Easy 8. Well, they only really started uh, doing things with uh, 08 MS Team semi recently. So it's kind of gotten more popular over the years. Something like that. I think it's more that they've. Uh, I think it's more they've uh, spent so long um, hyping. They've spent so long hyping up all the other UC stuff that they need to do uh, roll trough out uh, 08 MS team and Easy 8 in order to make people go. Hey, look! It's like the other Gundam stuff, but now there's this one. Probably. Like thing. I, I, I really like 08 though. That's the sad thing. No, I do, but I'm also thinking of stuff like how. Easy 8 was not in any of the Dynasty Warriors, even when, like, Gundam Alex and. Well, I thought the, the other Alex one. actually made it in, even though the Alex never really saw true combat when you think about it. Yeah, but it got in, and so did its pilots, but. No, Easy 8 or Shiro. Hell, even uh, Gundam Battle Assault 2 just threw Shiro in a ball. Which, Poor don't Shiro. get me wrong, it's hilarious, but still. Poor Shiro. Or she Is it not PPR. popular or something? Oh wait, MS Team. I'm not sure. I actually, actually, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if the model kits didn't sell very well, or at least didn't at the time. Because now they have like a ton of, they have like a revive Easy Eight. They have like variants of the Easy Eight and shit like that. I think maybe, oh. I, I think maybe it's one of the series that wasn't popular in Japan back in the day, and probably became more popular as time went on and was more popular in the West. It might just be, it could also be that, like... Because there's the time, a, a number of people I know who don't like Gundam, but they know 08 MS Team and they like that one. Uh, I could also just be, the, as I said, the whole uh, thing of, like, um... Mm, trying to get the best way to phrase it. Like, the whole, uh, the step, basically it's old enough now to have people go be nostalgic for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a 90s show, so that makes sense. So it might it might just be a case more like that where it's a UC thing that hey people who are old who are buying model kits now who aren't like you know fucking right. ancient uh, and go man I used to man I remember watching oh wait the MS team the I'll get a model kit of the Easy Eight I mean it's right true I mean hell I I ended up buying like a couple of the Zoids kits like like two of the Zoids kits that I, I really like because I was just feeling because I well I started watching it and I was just feeling really nostalgic for Zoids so. You might even see a resurgence of Gundam Wing. Oh, but they all, but that was already a popular one, so they have tons uh, of Ah, yes. Yeah. They always bring back Wing. Well, you always no, see at least the Wing. There's two popular mobile suits from Gundam Wing. God. So I linked a friend of mine. Like, no, no, no. Um, oh, okay, so say which ones, and then I'm going to correct you. What? Oh, I mean, Wings, like, Wing Zero Custom and, um,. Can't, and then the other one's like uh, Epion usually. Uh, I was people gonna say really also like. people really like the Death Scythe and the Tall Geese. Mm. I linked a friend of mine like the partly the ending of the first episode of Gundam Wing, 
you know, uh, Relina's like, here comes my birthday party, and the hero being the bat, being, you know, the guy to treat and mean and keep him keen that he is, uh, rips up her invitation, wipes away her tears, and is like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. One of these days, uh, I'll rewatch Wing and all of its mess. So I saw it when I was really little, so I remember fuck all other than Wow Cool Robot. That's literally all I remember from Wing. But, since I uh, was really and then, young. And then the first related video he got, which he then immediately questioned me on, was something about Wu Fei's first sexist line. And it was like, first? And it's like, yeah, Wu Fei's a cunt. No one likes Wu Fei. Not even the games like Wu Fei. Even Super Robot Wars has to try to have as little Wu Fei as possible. Yeah, they always make him like the rational one who won't listen to you. Which is, you know, 100% in character for Wu Fei. I was gonna say, that just sounds like Wu Fei. He's the irrational one who doesn't listen to anyone. What? The only thing he cares about is killing, um. Why does Wu Fei exist? Because they needed to have five Gundams. Okay, yeah, but why couldn't, they made, why couldn't they have made a better one, though? Because he's from Space China. They wanted Space China to be an asshole. Oh. Okay, I guess. I assume. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Everyone else is chill is chill guys, like how you have uh, Catra, the white guy who's a space Arab. Wait. Or Duo <laughs> who's yeah. a Or Duo who's a Scott McNeil. Space... Yeah, he's Scott McNeil, so he's just, he's just rat trap. Um no, no, I know what someone might say. Hey, but Scott McNeil is just doing the dub voice. I know. I I know. It's still just him. No. I don't think people... I think Gundam fans don't super care about Subversive Dub, I don't think, most of the time. Oh, uh, there's a couple that do. He, he, he By mentioned the, way, the model, uh, you know what's the, weird? the one big scream uh, 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 he did off of when his wife <laughs> yeah. ran over his motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> I love that story. And then you have Troa, who's a space clown. It's true. And also maybe a space cat, and also maybe like a space super spy. Stroh was weird. I will, will say one thing I've noticed, and this drives me up a wall. This goes back to Xenoblade, funny enough. A lot of mm. the uh, dub versus sub people, for some unholy reason, will be like, "Yeah, dubs suck, but the Xenoblade dub is actually really good, guys." And I'm like, "Are you fucking high?" It's Are you? They're all British. Which like it's funny. Makes things, makes like haha, ha, ha, it sounds funny. Ha ha. But the the actual acting is atrocious. I mean, I listen to it. Actually, like, wow, no, I wouldn't say atrocious. Um, so the voice acting um in Xenoblade feels very much like um early PS2, late PS1 after Metal Gear Solid happened, and people were trying to improve voice acting in video games. Okay. Like they can sometimes have either a character who can do good line reads and do a good job. Or, I mean, or like some characters will just be just bad all the time, or you'll have that one character who can be decent, but their line reading goes all over the place. Where they'll try to do a line and just fuck it up somehow. I'd like to, I'd like to point out, uh, whenever I hear uh, quote unquote British accents and things, like nine times out of ten, it's how I imagine like French people he, uh, here, like people going, oh ha ha. Right. Just it's literally that, like times a million, and I'm just sat there, like people saying, "Oh, they're talking British accent." I'm like, which one? Because none of these sound right. They all sound. Yeah, but like the, Z I think Xenoblade actually uses a British cast, so it's not like yeah, it does. We think is a British accent. The most, the close. I mean, the pro uh, Rex is B A definitely like super plays like plays into it Nia's too, way too hard. <laughs> Nia's Welsh. Yeah, she oh, is well. She's Welsh, which you know, the Welsh are okay. The Welsh are okay. Mostly. She's also one of the better voice actors in that Apart game. Apart from the sheep thing, though. No. Man, so because COVID has obviously caused lockdown, it's had, had all this lockdown, a uh, bunch of, like, sheep and goats have come down off the hills and the hills and are now, like, sort of grazing in the towns, and it's like, man, the, people, the Welsh people must be fucking loving that. So if but, the uh... prostitute came to your door. <laughs> but yeah, Nia is actually, I will be fair, she's, like, one of the few who can actually line read consistently. 
Like, Rex is, like, what, like, what was it? There, like, when Rex gets his, uh, fucking power up, and he's supposed to have that cool moment where he, like, you know, comes in yelling, and it's really supposed to be cool, and you get, like, a, yeah! And I was like, what the f- what? what? I could do a better line read than that! What the shit? What? What? Was that your first take? Was that the first take? Did we just do this in one take? What the fuck? Some people telling me this is good voice acting. What are you on? What are you on, you fuckers? There are very, there are very few things that I will... I mean, first off, they're uh, stupid for saying all dubs suck. Because, you know, we're not in the fucking 80s anymore. There's, are, there's very few things I will refuse to watch dubbed or have no interest in seeing dubbed. And that is uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure outside of Season 4 because I really like DC Douglas. Right. But every other season slash part, I won't. I would rather not watch dub just because I, I, I don't know. I can. I don't think I could handle JoJo without uh, DOSDA. Oh no, I, I actually agree. I watch uh, JoJo uh, sub. And that's not fair. I think the dub is bad. The dub sounds. It's really just good it, no, like no. Bad. That's just a preference thing. There's a difference between preference and being a cunt. Uh, I can't watch XL Saga dub because I don't like the VA, the VA changing halfway through. Oh, I just don't really like Excel's voice in that, so... I like it, but that's just me. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's fair. That's, that's, that's fair, that's a preference thing. It's kind of like, I'm not, uh, for, like Dragon saying... Ball, for, like, Dragon Ball, I I watched all the Super subbed, obviously, but, like, I don't like listening to it, watching it subbed overall. And the other thing I... Yeah, about... a, lot of people, a, lot, a lot of people don't like his... his uh... Well, uh, so Moscow is a great Moscow is a great voice actress, but for some fucking reason, she voices all both all the the boys of the San family, and they all sound identical, and it drives me crazy. I'm pretty sure that's, that was intentional. Yeah, it's I'm terrible. Sure that was a deliberate choice. Yeah, deliberately stupid. Oh, I agree. And that's why I prefer the dub to sub in Dragon Ball case. Um, what else is there that I really just do not care for or don't really? Oh, that was the third one, uh, Gal Gai Gar. I, I know there's a dub of the first season, and I, and I know Dan Green's in it. Dan Green? Like, I, I, I just don't know. It's you actually really that. good, they just they just didn't it, finish it. It is good, because I have listened to bits <coughs> of it, but you don't have Nobuyuki Hiyama screaming, and I can't have that. No, I, I understand. Like I said, there, I there are shows that I'll watch either or. There are shows that I, uh, uh, that I can only watch in one. I've watched both G Gundam both in Japanese and English. I like them both for different reasons. One of my, one of the funniest things to me was the um, one of the changes that they did in the dub of G Gundam. It's uh, for Chibity with, with the song that uh, Chibi's mom would sing to him. Like in the Japanese one, it's like a, you know, kind of like your basic kind of like uh, like a sort of like sort of like just like a I love you song sort of thing. And then uh, you get to the fucking American one, and they have Rain singing uh, Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> ah, yes, because it takes place in good old America. It's like, remember in the first season of Digimon in the dub, whenever they insist, we're a tote in America, you guys. <laughs> well, until they until they actually went, you know. And, until and then, yeah. and, and then they suddenly they suddenly changed their mind because they're like, oh, we didn't we didn't know they were actually going to go there. Yeah, um, and then suddenly, oops. even though they were constantly like, now we live in America, this good old America land, and then so it's like, oh, I'm gl glad to be back in glorious Nippon. And you're like, wait a second. I mean, I remember Dub Digimon being uh, largely a gag dub, isn't it, really? Well, in the loosest sense of gag dub. Which was what? Uh, Digimon Adventure, the first one. It's, lo it's a gag dub in the sort of loosest sense of the gag dub, right? It's it's it's. I mean, I, mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a gag dub as much as like. Uh... Oh, you mean like the way it was dubbed back in the day? Yeah. Sorry, I was reading text. Um... I don't think it was. It was. It was as much a gag dub as to them like not realizing. I think. I think they were just like basically they were, they were watching like every five episodes and then dubbing it. And every um... five episodes and dubbing it without looking ahead and like realizing what kind of show it was. So they, uh, they were just I like, mean, oh, it's 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 cute monsters lost in another world. That's great. Let's let's have them do a bunch of jokes about how they miss their, you know, non-existent baby brothers. And oh, oh no, we actually they actually go to the real world. Like you could tell that they go to the real world and run into their families really threw them off. Like we we weren't expecting that. 
a lot of stuff we said at the beginning part of the show kind of doesn't make any sense anymore. Yeah, because I've been sort of rewatching it as like having background noise and as having background noise out of morbid curiosity to see if it still holds up. Kind of, sort of, not also, uh, not quite. So there's a lot of really kind of very obvious like dub edits and re uh, the questionable animation choices for this uh first half. There's well, also that, part, and there are parts where they even make cracks about it, where they're like, "We should run!" When like the cyborg mons walking at them, we and should uh, run. don't really move a muscle. Oh wait, no, screw that. Let's run. There's like a couple of gags that they do because I think it's like half. I think it's like half and half, honestly, because there are parts where they're literally just making fun of the sh where they're making fun of the animation or things in the show, and I mean, then there's the, stuff like that. The fact for the final boss, he's treated dead seriously in the original. And then he starts throwing out lines like, "You got all the, you got all the cheese on the pizza, while well, I got all the crust." Why am I laughing? I'm supposed to be sad. Yeah, like, hang on. But no, it's still mostly good. It's just, it's mm. definitely, it's definitely one of those things where like, if you grew up with it, you're gonna enjoy it. If you're trying to like watch Digimon while you're older, you're probably gonna fucking hate it. I think the thing that I think it definitely sort of proves the. Even at, even at the start, I think Digimon always had superior shows to Pokemon. Pretty like much. Just, yeah, well, I mean, it just helps it uh, even until the very, until, you know, the sort of last quarter. It's a team series. Everyone everyone contributes in some manner. And then the final season unless, happens. Unless you TK, which gets fuck that kid. I hate him. I like how T I like how Kyrie's barely in the show and she still does more. That's because her Digimon fucking Digivolves and fights. TK just like Deus Ex them the in the first arc and then he just does nothing. And then Deus Ex is in the final arc. Yeah, pretty much. He he no. but the, but there's that whole like thirty episode period where he does nothing. Mm-hmm. Because Angemon used up all of his power doing nothing. And died. Well, he killed the devil. Devimon, who was, turns out was just a fucking chub. Like, then it turned out the Elvis Presley monkey was the actual serious business. And then, why no, why did he actually... tell Sailor to return to the base when literally everything's fine? I've just been shooting down everything before Amaro and Sailor can get to it. Because well, yeah, it's dangerous. Read. It is dangerous. I don't know, I'm doing a pretty good job taking on these aquatic mobile suits in my fucking ground Gundam. I don't even- we don't even need the regular Gundam, fuck that! We got- we got my bargain bin Gundam, it's fine. My bargain bin Gundam is enough to take on a Gog and Sagak. Did you just say Sagak? No one has ever defeated Sagak and no one will ever get this reference! And I remember when Street Fighter was fun. It's a shame that they um, stopped making them after four. Yeah, yeah. I keep trying to explain to I keep literally trying to explain to a friend where they're like, but don't people like Street Fighter V? It's like, no, they're held hostage by it. There is a difference. They're sat there think they're sat there because they have nothing else they can do. Oh, Amro, you've come to join the fight now. You're actually going to do something. Because I don't think I you... need you here. My bargain bin can take care of this. Because while you can definitely still play, like, you know, Street Fighter 4 and Classics, and it's easy, thanks to, you know, like, um... The, like, they're the on modern series. hardware, and they're on computer. Yeah, but the main, the main problem, or the main sort of problem is that any kind of, like, um, associate, like, big, big event that people might tune into, Capcom's always going to push Street Fighter 5. Yeah, because that's what they want to make money, because that's where they're put putting all their DLC development into. It's mainly kept alive by the current base just buying costumes. Yeah. And then, and then being told, to by the way... You, and then trying to convince you that it's actually a good game. And then being told, by the way, you can't use this costume, though. Yes. Poor Armika. Eh, it's fine. They turned her into garbage. I mean... I do. I did actually legit question though when. I, I love how her move went from like her super move in Alpha Three went from like this cool fucking thing where she throws you off the top rope and all this shit to uh, five. Uh, she her she and her friend hit you with their butts. What? She's a fucking Kaneku Buster. I 
Oh, you well, know she could. They could have. They could have had. They could have done that. They could have had her top rope Kaniku Buster a motherfucker. Cause I didn't. Mean, cause that, cause she would think about the Kaniku Busters. It's not even like they'd be the only people who just do that. Yeah. Cause like ever uh, every sort of like wrestling jet thing in Japan, or even some things that are in Japan, just do the fucking Kaniku Buster. I can't call them replacements, but Man. Have some I keep meaning one day to go and give Ultimate Muscle another try, because I remember that being unusually good for a four kids dub. Oh, they gave me a new Rick Dom. Uh, what was it good? Oh, yeah, Ultimate Muscle, yeah, it was really good. Which, baffling for a four kids dub. I guess because all the violence is wrestling, so wrestling's fake. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drop that bombshell. Wait, wrestling's fake? Wrestling Next, you're gonna fucking fake. tell me that Gundam is fake. Well, no, Gundam's real. Oh, okay, thank God. Whew! I was a little worried there for a moment. Gundam is life. I was, I was a little concerned there. I thought Gundam wasn't real. I did actually consider Gundam. I keep thinking maybe I should get one of my friends to watch Gundam Wing just because it's basically trunk. It's basically like the condensed down UC. But then I think. But then I remember Miliardo, and he's just such a problem. Yeah. Because, no, here's the worst thing about Miliardo, because he changes his character, like, every sort of five they, minutes. They, they, There's always a point where he's someone's favorite character. They, they, wanted to, uh, they wanted to make him, like, they wanted to do the, the weird complex thing with Char, but they didn't know how to do it. It's not even that they didn't know how to do it. The difference is Char had two entire runs of shows. Right. Odd episode, 100 episodes. Plus Shah's counterattack, plus actual decades in the space between each of these series coming out. Like each Hell, even actually, yeah, even like uh, side mangas. Now that I think about it, like there's so much extra content that Shah and time that Shah has to work with. Miliardo is trying to cram like what is basically 15 years worth of Shah into 50 episodes, which literally causes him to hop up and down and just you know he goes from. He goes from working for the Zeon, working for the not Zeons, to, to working against the not Zeons, to joining up with the not Neo Zeons, to you know what? Fuck her! I'm just gonna blow it up. But, but why though? To so just kind of existing in the movie. No, he just shows up, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, sure, you're this like psychopath who almost tried to like mass murder everyone." But you know what? We need a new, we need another guy to pilot Tall Geese for you, so you're in. And then he's just like, where did you get a tall geese free from? Shut the fuck up. Stop asking questions. Why does questions. the wing zero have angel wings? Stop How asking questions. How long was questions. I gone? They were always there. Shut up. At least heavy, at least heavy arms, uh, extra thing. It's just, it just it's gave him an more guns. Gun. It's just, it's just got more guns. If you look closely, you can see Lena Torres frothing at the mouth looking at it. I forget what what was the Kai version of Sandrock. I don't think it was any that much. I think they just gave it bigger shuttles. Oh, uh, they gave it a, they gave it a cape. Oh, that was it. And they gave um, also, also it's blue now for some reason. Oh, and they gave um, Wu Fei's thing a second snake arm, right? Uh, no, he always had the second snake arm, but now they were like extra stretchy. They 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 were extra stretchy, but they. They lost the flamethrowers, and also he lost his backpack gun. Deathside just had a better scythe, really. Uh, well, custom. it had a bigger scythe ah. instead of instead of a scythe with two I blades. I finally failed a mission. This is my fault. I my hubris. I brought a dom into the fight when I should have just brought anything that was from the Federation. Why are we still here? I brought here? a dom from the fight when I should have brought anything that isn't a dom. Oops. This is my oh, own well. fault. You know what's funny? Almost in response, the game just gave me a fucking, uh, a gym. It's like, no, stupid, just use a gym! It's worse than that, he's dead, Jim. Oh, they actually gave me a Zaku, too. I have something better than a Dom now. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use a gym. But the oh, Doms are... The Doms dominate. Do they? I don't know. I mean, has a Dom ever actually succeeded in doing anything in the history of Gundam? Yeah, and see Destiny. Uh, doesn't mm. count. They're not really but that's only, Doms, but that's, so. but that's only because But that's only because they were allied with Kira. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah, so well, it's doing well, something. It's Kira doing everything. It's true. Because Kira is Jesus. 
But it's fine, Sabo. Durandal was right all along, anyway. Or was he? Mm -hmm. what, nobody what can seem to under. No, no, nobody seems to under. Nobody seems to know anymore, and nobody seems to care. Well. No, now the, the latest, the latest Seed Destiny argument is whether Kira actually let Shin beat him that one time or not. Did he? You'll see Destiny I expert. Mean, I mean, he beat. I mean, he beat him because he wouldn't kill him. Did so, him like kind of. Maybe. The entire thing is like, it's like, oh, he, oh, he only shoots for the head. He only shoots the heads of the arms off. Maybe I should just, you know, guard those pieces. Oh, hey, I won. And then you know it doesn't work. And then he comes back and it doesn't work anymore. Maybe he just. Who the fuck does Zaku think he is sitting up here with a fucking long range rifle shooting like he's gonna hit something? Fucking stupid. Yeah, it sounds like uh, gonna. Oh. Like, I'm not gonna just walk up and shoot him with my beam rifle. So, you know, I'm just gonna use this gun. See, so, yeah, I just started blasting. Good, God, just like I a want... second. Like, literally, God, like a second you know after you I said want. that, I blew up. You know what uh... I fucking want? I want an act guy that's converted to look like Frank. Frank? Frank from Always Sunny, you know. Oh, oh, back. oh, okay, sorry, sorry. It took my brain a second. That's what I want. That'd be perfect. You know, he's trying to run at me with his claws, but I just keep getting in close and shooting with my gun. I cast gun. It's That's my favorite, my favorite spell. It is my favorite D&D spell. <clears throat> We actually have a guy in our game. Man, who uses what were the Zeon thinking when they made a gra uh, made the grab burrow? What the fuck were they thinking when they made that thing? It's so what stupid. They thinking when they did half the shit they did. Look at this thing, idiots! They were thinking they th are. this gimmick. This gimmick will get the Gundam for sure. Yeah, you know what killed it in this game? A fucking <laughs> ground gym. Not even the mass-produced gym. The fucking betas before they made the regular gym. That's what blow it up. Get the f your shit together, Zeon. You were better off when I used the Dom earlier. It's like a joke. Well, you know, some people are into that. Just don't David Carradine it, eh? Why not? It's a water mission. Do you, do you, you know, know what, what that happened? means? Do you don't know what happened to David Carradine, Sabo? Hey, it's it's a it's a water it's a water mission train. It's time to bring the Zagok back. Finally, v vaguely, the Zagok's time has come. Well, they found him like uh, dead because he uh, asphyxiated himself. Oh yeah, 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 I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't want to do with David Carradine. Oh, I God. died from autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh, I know a part of the series. This is it's the part when a uh, guy is in the gun parry and. Uh, his girlfriend number seven gets killed. I mean, I mean, when you said gun parry, it just made me think of. Gun Actually, parry. no, that's technically that's that's not even accurate. That's his first girlfriend. Wow. The one who is the Zeon spy. Ah yes, the filthy Zeon spy. Just like in Double O with that one chick who was the filthy. Uh, Coordinator spy. They're not new types, they're coordinators! No, it's completely different. Shut the fuck up. I mean, if we're gonna blame, like. If we're Look, gonna, seed, had, seed had coordinators, then also had new types. Oh, that was the innovators. My bad. I was thinking yeah, yeah, of innovators. Yeah. Which uh, is also not new types. Because Seed is like, we yeah, have two new types. And then there's new types, and then there's Kira, who's both. Because he's literally Jesus. Because he's genetic perfection. Kira is literally the fucking worst. No, there are worse now. Oh, are there? Yeah, that's yeah. enough. That was worse. I didn't watch enough Double O to argue for or against Setsuna. I just didn't like it, so I just walked away quick. Well, the difference is, is that uh, 
is that um, they don't literally have a point where some character goes, man, Kira's so full of love, it's impossible. Oh, to yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Well, they've never done, no, they've never done that. They've never had it, it no one, it, at least not yet, anyway. I mean, if that, if, that, if that third series ever comes out, you never know. They'll never do a third yeah. series of Double O. No, no, oh, I mean... Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly now. Maybe they'll have Kira declare that he's in fact Gundam. Oh, they want Gundam. I like how it's I like how it's Super Robot Wars. Uh, it was Z. Like they just have Hero just talk to the sets and stuff. Like we can all be Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> the sets was like that... this man's a genius. He's, he's like he's I, like, this I, is amazing. It's so stupid. I'm curious if it was parody or not. Yeah, I mean, most things are intended as a gag. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's, I mean, it's a genuine, a, actually, I know it's a genuine a... spot in the story where they cheer him up. So I mean, it's parody, but the story plays it straight. Actually, I know that there was a gag in uh, the one that I want to get uh, between Gunbuster and Ray Earth joking about the fact that they both did like chibi segments all the time. Uh... Yeah, there, there's a there's a stage, a DLC stage where like they all get stuck in chibi mode and like. The, the Ray Earth Lee is convinced she's lost her mind. Wait, no, you only lose your mind when you're assaulted by bikini babes. Yeah, because I think, isn't it like only Hikaru and, um... Uh, what, 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 I'm forgetting her name. Like, they're the only two that realize or something like that? Yeah, they're like, they're like, no, this is, this is, this is wrong. Wait a second. What, is, 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 <laughs> what, are, you, what are you talking about? We're, we're always tiny in parodies of ourselves, and they're like, oh no. I mean, when you said that, I was thinking that you were, I thought you were talking about the Nadesco uh, gag where they do that information show, and everyone's like, what no. the fuck is this? But what? I yeah, don't know no, what this no, is, cause, <laughs> but I can't stop cause, watching. Because they actually do that, where it's like, whenever there's a plot, they're, they're like, they do the the Nadesco show, and yeah, the character's like, what, what is this? What, what, why, did, why can't you just tell us? We, we didn't, we don't need a, a children's information show just tell us no 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 we have to do the bit we have to do the children's show well because they because they do that they all do right. that in the movie R when, all right rick when, when all the, right dom you you have the, one less you have one last chance to redeem yourself this is your last chance your last opportunity when what's her so, face is like revealed to be alive and then they and then, how, how, and then they explain how she's still alive so she does the whole show so again then it cuts back to all of them just staring at her like what 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 is this? Don't you know we crossed the threshold? We're not just silly jokey series anymore. We're serious business now. We spent the entire movie depressed. I'm serious. Basically. Look how edge. Look how edgy my mech is now. It's black. What does it do? Nothing. It's black and spiky and teleports. God, black and it, has my it has my actual mech inside, but now it can cry tears of oil. Man, Black Serena is just, what, it's just stupid. Like it's never, it never feels like it's a good, it's a good mech. It always feels trash. I mean, in theory, it's an invulnerable, shielded, you know, teleporting mech. Would be good if not for the, fa if not for the fact that, like, you know, it kind of ruined the whole fun as the aesthetic of the series. Yeah, which means I mean, you on don't paper, get it's pretty good. Which means you don't get to have your wacky hijinks because you gotta have everyone be sad and miserable. Yeah, you've gotta have Rory right. as the captain, and it's like cry tears of oil because people like Rory, people liked Rory, and so they're like, well, why don't we just make a whole movie based on her? And then it was a failure, a tragic failure. Probably didn't help that there were quite important Saturn like games that came out on the fucking Sega Saturn. Hey, but Sega Saturn Senshiro. I mean, Sega Saturn did good in Japan, so. Did and this is before they then? really. Uh, yeah, apparently it did. Yeah. There's like a lot of. There were a lot of good Saturn games that never came out here. Yeah, all, all the good games were Japan only. Yeah. Like Sakura Wars. I don't know if that's actually good or not, but I know it's iconic. I mean, it's got a re. Uh got a new version, like, semi-recently, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. but I mean... Now, the problem with Sakura Wars oh, is every time I hear it, it makes me think it's Summer Wars. 
or it's like um, Advance Wars. And it's like, oh no, it's like a thing. Like, man, uh, Rickdown thing. just sucks to play. Why, mm. why did I do that to myself? I don't know, man, because you're a fucking masochist. Why do you you're do right. a lot of things, regardless of what we say? You didn't, you didn't say not to use it. I said, I'm going to give him one last chance, well, and that I was his last chance. I didn't endorse it. Uh, you know what? I endorsed the act guy. You, you know what? I don't have an act guy. They didn't give me an act guy or a goof! Well, hmm. shit. Would it be funny to go to job do the Jaburo defense with a Zaku 2? Yes. Should I do the Jaburo defense as a Zaku 2? Yes. Okay. I only have one of those, so the other guy's just getting a gym. When he's just like, what am I flying? It's not a Zaku, it's a goof, no. No, it's just a gym. Oh. <laughs> he just looks sad. He's like, okay, what's the funny thing you're gonna give me? Is it the Zok this time? No. Actually, I could give him the Zok. It's at full health. Do it. Get All right, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna confuse the Xeon forces again. Except, except the Zagok the, 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 the Zog, Zagok is in the shop. Ah, we get to do it to the tune of I know Senshi as well. <laughs> Oh then. Well, this is a, this is a decision that we made. I, mean, I know what this, I know what I what the song is. When you described when you said the name, it just made me think of um, Iowa Tori Madase. Hmm. And now I'm just imagining like an act like uh, act guy uh, pissing off, starring it up. <laughs> Imagine too, you're like, we're gonna do our defense, we're gonna stop the, the mobile suit production line. Hey, look, there's already a Zaku and a Zok here. This is pr wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Damn it, again! They they brought some of our own mobile suits. We just repainted them like assholes. I slaughtered them like animals. The women and children! I mean, yeah, we all blame Anakin for that, but I think we sh I think we should all also be a little bit mad at Padme for hearing that and being like, "Yeah, I want to fuck this child. I want to fuck this child murderer." You know, you're right. Probably, probably should have seen it coming when he actually killed all those other children. Uh, I, I hardly was a surprise, right? I mean, yeah, you kill one shot. You kill like a, a small group of children. It's not. It, it, gets, it just gets easier with time. I like how I just started fighting the Gaul and the Zok just took on all of the uh, mobile suits. To be fair, it's like, he's almost like, wait a minute, we're in the war time? You didn't put me in the Zok in the desert? No. Suddenly the fucking Nero theme starts playing from 4. Specifically that one. The time that, has come, you so actually have make the whole, like, Tuscan Raid of Village Slaughter worse. You have that one quest in uh, Knights of the Old Republic where you have to go and bargain with the Tuscan Raiders, and it turns out they're mostly chill guys that just have serious anger management problems. Huh. But, That's a shame. So if you, like, actually speak their language, which, you know, since you have a pro since you have a droid who's fluent in lots of languages, but mostly fluent in murder, you can speak their language. R2! Far too! I can see it! <laughs> no, HK-47 is uh, not quite as, uh, like... Imagine Creepio, but if Creepio had a gun. I got a gun, uh, far too. Yeah, basically that. Like, HK... HK does not like people. Meat HK bag. hates people. So he's your spirit animal, is what you're saying? Yeah, basically. Oh, if you question him, all we'll do is talk about all of the extensive meat bags he's killed. He lies, he cheats, and he steals. He's Eddie Guerrero. And there's this great mo and there's this great sort of side quest where he's like having to translate for the Tuscan Raiders. And he just clearly doesn't like it. And he's advocating that we just kill all of them. That's surprising I mean, for him. I mean, that is a good solution. That is what HK47's solution usually is. 
Man, I always like in Coastal 1, if you go the evil route, you can be so ridiculously evil that it's kind of, it's it circles back to being funny. Like, literally, you have this, like, Wookiee who's friends with this teenage girl, right? And part of the evil route is you can 100% just force the Wookiee to choke her to death. She's a party Jesus. member, I should point out. Oh, yeah, because you... like, the, the, the Wookiee is like a life debt to you or something? Yeah, because if you go full evil, she won't agree with it. So you, you're just like, yeah, just kill her. <laughs> Do it, pussy. Okay. Oh god, oh, my that's what you want. dead. My Zaku is almost out of commission, this sucks. And KOTOR 1 is a hell of a ride. KOTOR 2 would be even more of a ride if it was, you know, finished. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the unfinished Man, remember, parts. Remember all that content that was meant to be in the game, but wasn't? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. damn it! I died! You died. I, my Zaku was destroyed. And... Oh man, it's the Dark Souls of Gundam games. Uh, I mainly spent Dark. most of the thing just trying to shoot down a gal, so it was my own fault. I'm sending a space I, I, I die, and then it's, uh... He's just like, here, have a space support. <laughs> I think I think General Ravel was just mad that I did that, because he just handed me a ball as a response. Get the, there get you go, the bull. stupid! Get the bull, Shinji. If you're gonna be that fucking stupid, you get a ball! Idiot! Then you get a bowl. Then you get oh, a bowl. Oh, Nazak can't uh, can't be used again. It was his time. I fucked it up, Zak. I'm sorry. Your time had come. You got destroyed. You failed. Getting Zok destroyed is generally a good sign of failure. Yes. Fine. I'll bring a Gundam like a normal person. Jeez. But I mean, when you play KOTOR 1, you can very much see that, man, all of this gets rolled up into the uh, Mass Effect, doesn't it? Including, like, a bunch of party members are literally just are literally the same. One of them even has the exact same fucking voice. Is Ashley? No. Uh, the dude. Well, why did they Why did they decide to make Ashley, then? Um, because... I actually had a conversation with a friend who recently replayed, like, um, Mass Effect, and he remembered actually being space racist as a thing, but he didn't remember how bad she was until he found the, until he got to the conversation where she says, I can't tell the aliens from the animals. And it's yeah, like, that's well, a little yeah. bad. And it's like, yeah, no, no wonder, and he's like, wow, yeah, I see why you just let her die, why you usually let her die, don't, I'm like, yep. You but can't. she's hot! Apparently people thought she was hot for some reason. Eh. Six I don't out. see it. Six out of ten. I, I don't even see it. Not even like, uh, oh god, she's racist. I mean, that doesn't help, but yeah, she's... no. Racist Pete. Racist generally aren't sexy. I will grant you this. Yeah. I mean... The main problem was that her competition was Liara, who is, um... Yeah. Boring, but and also yeah. lot creates a lot of weird uh, things to think about in regards to how her race functions. Or yeah, doesn't function. So. Yeah, no, I agree. Awesome you know what? I, I'd rather just go go with, with Rex. I'd rather just go with him. Rex. Shepherd. See, Rex can't romance her because you, uh, most of the time people are meant to kill him. Shepherd. Yeah. Rex. No, you, you can't romance. You can't romance Rex, because you know. You couldn't romance any aliens who want the R in the first game. Yeah, they, yeah, they were. They were, they were like, wait, but no one's gonna want him. They're gonna want the racist. Shepard, Rex. Shepard, Rex. Shepard, Rex. They, they didn't think people would be attracted to the weird-looking aliens. They. Uh, I'm not even attracted to him. They, I just rather him. Them. Well, then they decided to announce that uh, Tyrions have um, reach and flexibility. Ah, oh, yes. Which, you know, fair enough. But, um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of things Bioware and Bio misjudge about Mass Effect, like, you know, they misjudge people Making being mad at not having an ending. Or, or everything that was in drama, though. I mean, at least you can. At least you can. Oh, they. Oh, it. they knew they. They knew they screwed up with Andromeda. Oh, they. Yeah, they. That's why they farmed Andromeda off to the fucking B team. They were like, "Yeah, this is this is not good." What have we, we done? Because, We've, while they were working on Anthem, which was similarly a wet pot, but for different reasons. I'm not even sure which one's worse. Uh, Andromeda is actively worse. Anthem. Anthem's biggest sin is it's so boring and lacking in content. Because here's the ultimate problem with Anthem, right? Leaving, leaving aside like the fundamental gameplay breaking issues, but like it's the fact that it was act trying to compete in the whole live service like game live games on live service market against shit like Destiny, which had at that point years of content, versus Anthem having nothing. So unlike say with Destiny, where people can pick up and play a whole bunch of different shit because they had a whole bunch of time to roll out all this new stuff to do. And same with Warframe and shit like that. Uh, Anthem had nothing. Anthem had its base game, it had its level cap, and then that was it. And in a world like this, where people have something else they can just go back to, it's like, because you were basically trying to hook people, get people off of Destiny and things like that onto Anthem, because they are fundamentally the same, like, same game. The and trying to get people off of a service that they're already, like, throw a lot of hours and time into it, and money, is next to impossible. Yeah. Oh, man. Just, ask, guys... just ask all those games that tried to, like, rip people away from WoW. Oh, fuck. What was that quote I saw? Oh, I've got to actually go and search for this now. This fucking quote that was, like, an e that some spokesman said about a game not being a subscription service. It might be Ubisoft. I don't know. I, I don't know, but and I don't even know the thing. But for some reason, I'm getting the vibe of Ubisoft. Oh god! I can't explain it, but I'm just getting a Ubisoft feeling in my gut. I gotta find the exact wording on this because it's it's amazing. It's like surprise game. It's like a surprise mechanic. <laughs> uh, level god. Four. I feel like I'm not actually gonna be able to find it. Oh, um, fuck! What? Uh, it was a car game, Trackmania. I think it was Trackmania. Right, it might make it easier for me to track down the quote. Ah, here it is. Ubisoft says Trackmania subscription isn't actually a subscription. What? Is... Okay. Actually, it's not a subscription model, but an access to the game for a limited time. You pay for having access to the game for one period, and that's it. When the time is over, you have to buy the game again for the time that you want to access it again. What? So, um, yeah, it's a subscription I'm... model. No, but that's not a subscription model. They clearly said it's not a subscription model. What? What? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? Dude, it's literally the level. Oh, sorry, that's literally of, the only response I can have is just what? It's literally the extent, to the exact same extent of they're not loot boxes, they're surprise game mechanics. The surprise mechanics. Yeah! It's like you're just you're just moving the goalpost so much. That it's not even it's like why? It's almost sad. No, but they're not. Almost. Loot, no, but it's not a subscription service. You just pay to play the game when you want to play it. I mean, I guess it's not as bad as the whole the culling thing that I guess you've heard about. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about Where that. Uh, you you, you, you go ahead and explain it while I'm jumping around goofs. Alright, so it's a battle royale game, right? But, like, their gimmick, instead of being like, is there free to play, except not because. Or it's not free to play because in order to play, you have to pay, which, you know, fine. You might think, oh, then you have to, like, buy the game and then play. No. Ooh. You have to pay a subscription. No. It's every time you want to play a round, a round in a battle royale game, you have to pay money to play a single round. It's like what? I think, that's, I think that's crossing the line to outright theft. It's fucking back to arcade game bullshit. Finally. Yeah, they might as well just put like a 
coin dispenser on it. They probably thought about it, but they couldn't figure out how to install it. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, I just fucking love that. Oh my god! Did you see that fucking post I sent about my friends? Um. Oh, you did. You must have seen that thing, that paragraph I told you about my friend Professor's book, which includes uh, my favorite, my new favorite phrase. Oh yeah, you showed me that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Magical inclusion tactics, Dan. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. What are they trying to say? I, I don't understand I don't it. No, but magical inclusion tactics, though. What the fuck? Do, it, what is that even? So I'm will... so fucking confused and baffled and scared. So I will preface this before I read it, and that this is technically translated from Danish. But here we go. Others would be of the opinion that The Sims is the women gen women's gender political counter move against the historically male dominated computer games. Here they can play with bowls and try out their circular and vaginal inclusion tactics. God, I what? want like a, I want a metal. I said, like literally, I read that. My reaction was what? I want a metal. I want like a Metal Gear Solid game, like box art. But then it's, it has. You know that is... reads that that reads like something Kojima. No, would but write I want about. it to be like Metal Gear Solid. And then the subtitle was vaginal inclusion tactics. <laughs> vaginal inclusion tactics, man. Oh, That's why Zeon didn't win the war. Because of vaginal inclusion they tactics? They didn't have the vaginal inclusion tactics. They only... <laughs> wait, wait, no, they had Lala. She included, though, really. Yes? Besides, I mean, I'm not sure just having a woman amounts to having vaginal inclusion tactics. But I do like how they just, how the guy describes The Sims as this, like, feminist, as this, like, um, feminist, like, strike against the historic or the uh, the sims is the women's gender political counter move against historically male dominated computer games said as if the sims wasn't made by a dude like it's direct i'm pretty sure it was it's will Wright. it's one of his projects isn't it yeah because i mean will Wright usually behind the sim stuff yeah so, i believe it was his so is this like the counter to zone defense <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. that, that, that's what yeah. we're ending on, I guess. Yeah. That's what we're fucking ending on. The return of zone defense. <laughs> you need to make that the fucking title For now. Zone defense For versus vaginal inclusion tactics. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Just never get money. For those of you watching this who want to know, just watch the entirety of Transformers where I am an idiot and don't know the, how to use items. Or just watch and then it'll the all one, make sense. Or just watch the one specific episode of G1 where, Blit, where Blitzwing literally keeps screaming, ZONE DEFENSE! Yeah, but it's more for if you want to know why I had like this reaction of like, really? This is this, this now? It's been this yes. long? <laughs> this it now. returns its ugly head? God, I thought, you know what you need to make the thumbnail? You need to make like a Gundam with a snake with snake's bandana and then just put like uh, mobile suit gun the bachelor inclusion tactics. Do it. No. I want to make this. I want to make this as difficult as possible for you. I'm not doing any of this. No. Aww. No. Of course you do. I refuse. I'm putting my foot down. No. Okay. That that's that's the end of Gundam versus Feder Federation and Zeon. Next time it'll be more Federation and Zeon. We still haven't really kicked them all out of Jabiro yet. They're still there. Being Xeon. Have a good day.